Good morning everybody, it is Monday 9th of May, I'm Claire Jones, your One Life Healthy Weight Solutions. I hope you've had a lovely weekend. If you're watching live, um, it would be lovely if you could say hello. If you are watching on Catch Up, do please pop um, hashtag replay in the comments or say hello, anything you like really. The reason being is that it just helps Facebook to know that you want to see this sort of thing and also if others have been waiting um, to, to know when, when I've gone live, it will also help them to know as well. Obviously, if you've got notifications on it, then you'll already get informed. But um, obviously, Facebook is a busy place. We all get lots of notifications. And um, obviously, if you see something pop up on your news feed, it's, it's just another way of, of um, helping people to become aware that, that I've gone live. And obviously, if you're in this group and you want some help with managing your weight, then these videos will help you. So um, hopefully you'll want to see them. So this morning I'm going to be talking about um, understanding your tipping point. Now, um, you may be wondering what I mean by that. Now, obviously, when it comes to losing weight, we can want to lose weight, but nothing's going to actually happen unless we take action to lose weight. So our tipping point is the point where we move from perhaps just thinking about doing it to actually doing it. OK, and for every one of us, there will be a different tipping point. And and obviously one of the one of the problems um, that, that we have when it comes to losing weight is that we are having to go against our natural instincts, our biology, our physiology, our bodies are not designed to lose weight voluntarily. They're only designed to lose weight when we're in a position where food isn't available. And unfortunately, as I have said many times, the world that we live in, um, food um, is not scarce. It's certainly in, in the Western world. And it's available to us in larger quantities, more frequently, more easily available than ever. You know, just got to go online and, you know, half an hour later, food is delivered to our door. Um, you know, it's... it's um, We've, we've got we've got to find a way of managing that because if we don't we're always going to be destined to be overweight because our bodies are designed to um, make us want to eat a lot um, and to store the excess as fat and you know without food being scarce there's never an opportunity for our bodies to kind of get back to um, that that equilibrium so they will continue to to gain weight all the time that we give them the opportunity to so we've got to do something about that if we don't want to be overweight so there needs to be a tipping point um, where you decide that you are going to take action. What that tipping point is, is different for each of us. Um, and also, um, the other the other really important, important point about the tipping point is it's got to be, um, you've, you know, it's got to be strong enough. Um, so we may be sort of going about our day being really perhaps uncomfortable um, and annoyed with ourselves and um, frustrated, unhappy, all of those um, feelings that, that we have when we're not happy with our weight. But alongside that, we've also got these huge temptations and we're busy, we're stressed, we're tired, the celebrations and... So we're in this conflict between wanting to lose weight and wanting to do all of those things and, and food being a very important part of all those things. And no doubt we have developed habits that are involving food. You know, certain situations we will automatically eat, um, whether they be social situations, whether they be stressful situations, um, whether they be just because we've had a really bad night's sleep and we just feel like we want to um, just eat rubbish because um, we all do it sometimes um, or um, you know it might be the time of the month um, all sorts of things so so yes so we may be feeling uncomfortable about our weight but are we feeling uncomfortable enough that's where the tipping point comes in the tipping point is where you reach the point where you're so uncomfortable about your weight that you are absolutely determined that you're going to do something about it and then you follow through with the actions to do something about it consistently because you're that unhappy about being overweight, more unhappy than you are about the, the pull that you're getting from all of those foods and drinks. Now, the problem, of course, is, you know, we can reach that tipping point, but it's really hard to stay there because 
life. <laughs> life gets in the way and we're always having to fight these, um, these very strong influences. So what can you do about it? Well, the, as I say, the point of the tipping point is it's that point where you, re you reach where it's more uncomfortable to stay the same than it is to take action. And unless you reach that point, you won't take action. It is as simple as that. The trick then is how do you, morning Mandy, it's the, is how do you move yourself from being just uncomfortable to uncomfortable enough to actually do something about it and keep doing something about it. So just a few things I want to say about that. And whilst I, I come at, at my work mainly from a, a, a positive point of view in that, you know, let's look at where we want to get to. Hi, Mandy. Let's look at where we want to get to and focus on that because that's the future and, you know, the future is bright and we want to get there and we, you know, we, we want to visualise what it is that we want to achieve and all of that, that means to us. But on its own, that's not enough. We need to also look at and confront where we are now. But we need to do it in such a way that we don't end up just beating ourselves up. Because as soon as we start going, oh, I'm fed up with being overweight, we start to, to attack ourselves. We start to be really down on ourselves. And that doesn't really help us to take action. That just makes us feel even more miserable. So we've got to come at this from a more objective place. Rather than looking at ourselves and going, I'm rubbish at losing weight, I'm fat, I'm, I'm, I'm ugly, I hate myself, I'm, I can't control myself. We don't want to be going down that road because all that's going to do is destroy your self-esteem even further. What we want to do is look at the situation. So if you think about all of the things that you're unhappy about in terms of being overweight. So as I say, don't get personal about this. Just look at the situation. What is it that being overweight stops you from doing? What is it about being overweight that makes you feel feel bad? So by that, I mean, you know, is it uncomfortable to put your favourite clothes on? So, you know, do you have a, a favourite outfit that you can't wear at the moment? And, um, you know, do you, how do you feel perhaps when you've um, you've eaten too much? Um, physically, yeah, I know we, we all get those feelings of guilt when we've 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 eaten more than we intended. But how do you feel physically? How and how do you feel perhaps later on? You know, perhaps you've had a big meal in the evening, bigger than you intended, and then you go to bed and you can't sleep because you're you've got heartburn or you you you're you're wide awake because your body's still digesting and you you can't settle down. You know, it's really tapping into all of the things that you're uncomfortable comfortable about and really making them as big as they possibly can be to you. So, you know, how does not being able to sleep at night really, really affect you? You know, how does that make you feel the next day, for example? I mean, you know, there is, I've, I've spoken about this before, and you can go and have a look on my website. I've got some articles about this, about where, you know, how, how lack of sleep affects our weight you know there's there's lots of morning eve there's lots of ways that um you get affected by or we all get affected by um not having enough sleep um it's a it's a, a kind of like a a, neg a real negative loop that we get stuck in if we're not having enough sleep because when we haven't haven't had enough sleep we're grumpy and we're tired so we're less likely to be focused on healthy eating we're more likely to just reach for the stuff that is easy and quick and perhaps isn't quite you know what what we need to to lose weight we may also um feel more hungry because our hormones get affected when we haven't had enough sleep um and then of course we continue that cycle and then we end up perhaps going to bed not being able to sleep because we've eaten rubbish again and 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 so it goes on. Um, and when I say eating rubbish, what I mean is, you know, just eating lots of the the wrong things that are not in line with our goals. Obviously, you know, my 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 view is is that when we're trying to lose weight, we don't cut out everything we like. We just look at how we can have those sorts of things in in the quantities that are not going to take us away from where we want to be. And that's a whole um, <laughs> life for another day. But um, but yeah. So the key thing is really getting in tune with 
what's going on for you in terms of why are you so uncomfortable about being overweight and and really making those that as big as you possibly can so keep a notepad every time you think of something as you go about your day jot it down in your notepad or perhaps have some notes a notes app open on your phone so that every time you come across something you can write it down because you're not going to remember it all in one go and actually you may not want to do this activity all in one go because it will make you feel uncomfortable, but you need to feel uncomfortable enough to do something about losing weight. We we got to get to that point where losing weight, or, or rather doing the things that will help you to lose weight, become easier than carrying on because you cannot bear any longer being overweight. Because if you don't reach that point, you're not going to be in that um, zone where you're you're determined enough and it's important enough to take the action that you need to take to lose weight because we have to go against our biology and our instincts in order to do so. And obviously how you do that, that's again a whole um, topic for another day. Um, but the point here is that you've got to reach the point, sorry, I keep saying point a lot, but that is the point, you've got to reach that tipping point where taking action is more important to you than staying where you are. And you've got to keep doing it. So it's not good enough to just do it one day and go, right, OK, I've reached my tipping point now and I'm determined to take action. You've got to keep focusing on that tipping point every day, as well as spending time thinking about where you want to be. So where you don't want to be and also where you do want to be. And if and the more you can focus as well on the positives and really imagining what that life is going to be like, you're going to be gradually moving yourself towards that tipping point. Whereas if you do nothing, if you just stay with the current situation and you think, well, yeah, I'm, I'm overweight. I don't know what to do about it. I don't, you know, I'm not um, being consistent with, with, with my actions. This is where it's so important to work on our mindset. You have the power to do that. You just got to take those first steps. And the first steps are not the... Um, the practical actions around losing weight it's the getting your mindset in the right place to be able to take the action that you then need to do on a practical level so i hope that's helpful I'm running out of time now um but let me know in the comments if that has helped um if you no want to know how to take this further then you want to do my program because i take you through this step by step how to actually work on getting to your tipping point and staying there so that you don't give up, you don't go back to where you were, so that you keep moving forward towards where you want to be. So I'm going to leave it there. Let me know in the comments if that was helpful, if you've got any questions, and um, I'll see you in the group. Take care. Have a good week. Bye.